What is happening guys and welcome back to the Yeovil Town Road to Glory career mode and we are starting off with a big big decision on our hands Francois Zoko is pretty much a Yeovil Town legend the guy is actually decent he hasn't really got like terrible stats for a 64 overall but he is 33 years old and he's getting paid 3,200 a week which is a huge amount this early in a career mode and I could get pretty much a quarter of a million for him so I'm definitely negotiating with CKA who by the way keep trying to steal all my best players they went for Nathan Smith the last time and now they're going for technically my best striker I will talk for you through guys What's going through my head at this stage is I've got a lot of strikers. Like, I've got Surridge, I've got Barnes, both of which who are growing really, really nicely in training. Yes, I know they're not my players. And they will be going back to their respective clubs at the end of the season, but I want to sign them up. Barnes, not 100%. Surridge, 100%. And we have just brought in the cheap Dabala, so we can't really complain. Now, we need to make money. And this is how we're going to do it. We're going to propose a new transfer fee. We're going to ask for... I don't want to push it. I was going to go straight in for 500k. Which now I'm thinking about it is a little bit extreme. And I'm thinking more along the lines of 380. I think they can't run away from that. They want 280. We're getting there. We're doing good business. This is for sure. I'm now thinking 325 and I'll be happy with that. That's a good amount of money in this sort of career mode. They're really pushing their luck. <laughs> They're going up by 10 and I'm going down by 25. This is not how it's working. 310. I was going to say it's my final offer, but if they say 300, I'm going to take it. 310. What are we saying? Can we skip? We're willing to pay it. There you go. That's not bad. I'm kind of worried because it's a big player to lose and he's a legend for the club. And any of you Yeovil Town fans out there, I apologise sincerely, but we need money. We're reshaping the club. I'm sure if someone came into Yeovil, sold all the players I have, brought in some young talent and won the league, don't think you guys would be complaining. So that's why I've done it. See, I'm on the same wavelength. Right, while we wait for this decision to go through, we're going to jump into our first game of the season, guys, and I am nervous. I can already tell you I'm rejecting this offer. I've seen it in the corner of my eye. Sawunmi is going nowhere. You can throw all the money in the world at me. He's going nowhere. Reject. Thank you very much. Now, I did forget to tell you guys at the beginning of the episode, Arta Krishak, Krishak has not left the club which I'm a little bit annoyed about because that was more money and I'm not even using him in opening day. Before I jump into this game, guys, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here and all that good stuff. Share with your friends. Deli Ali's gone to City. The series is mad. What is this? But that doesn't affect us. So, looking at the club, this is how I've lined up. We have changed, I know, but I want to play this guy like you would play Dybala. Now, this is mad. So you guys sat there thinking, stop being so cringy. The guy is not Dybala. Surridge is not Higuain. But that's the sort of wavelength I'm going for. So I've got the tall target man up front, it's Sam Surridge. I've got the short, pacey madman who's going to rip this league apart just behind. Khan and Santos out on the wings. Goburn and Smith in the centre mid rolls. Dixon, Smith, Swoonmi, Hammers. That's what I'm going to call him, even though he's James, and I just want him to sound a little bit more better than he is. And we've got my man Nelson in the net, comes out for crosses, 6 foot 2, 35 years old, just going to do a job in League 2, and he's just going to do a job, that's how we are lining up. Now, I am thinking guys, that after this episode is finished, I am going to go through and change all the squad numbers, so don't worry about that. I haven't decided what numbers I want, but it doesn't really affect the gameplay. So I'm jumping into a match against Luton, starting off strong. 
hoping for the three points to start off the league nicely and we're going to see what we're lacking. This is what the game is for. We're going to play it, we're going to see what we're lacking and hopefully guys, we're going to get a result. Let's jump into this game. Here we go guys. Opening day and here's our little Asian. Asian beast. Cheap Dabala. I'm making all these names for him up. I've never heard anyone call him the Cheap Dabala, but he is a madness and he's lost the ball. The guy is a beast. Oh, wow. We nearly go 1-0 down, guys. Now, the one thing I've forgotten about is I suck at FIFA. <laughs> That's just how it is. I ain't the best. Not the worst by any means, but definitely not the best. And I'm playing on quite a tough difficulty with a bad team. Against bad teams, I get it, but against the computer. Oh dear, what have we done? Well played, Dixon. Dixon's decent, you know. I'm glad I didn't get rid of him. Every time I, I compliment these players, they do really bad. <laughs> they just give the ball away. It is really tough to get anything going so far. 14 minutes in. We're defending quite well, but we're not attacking well. He says, as Santos would have gone through had it not been for our new mega signing giving the ball away again like oh, it's gonna take so long to get used to these players guys ah oh, what is he doing he's giving the ball away again and khan has done well khan's a good player guys look look at that he's just always there he's playing really well i'm glad we kept hold of him as well look at surridge down on the wing can we find khan Oh, it's a dodgy ball from Surridge. Khan's done well to keep hold of it. Giving it away again in the last third. Cheap Dybala. Goburn. Down out to Khan. Into Surridge. Keep hold of it. Uh, why are you doing flashy passes? You play for Yeovil. Like, seriously, you're not going to be impressing nobody with those skills. Let's go. Straight for... <sighs> Can't release our new signing, guys. He is getting closed down, and that is the negative part of his game. Five foot one, you are going to get trampled on. But we're going to work with it, guys. We're going to find a formation and a gameplay that is going to suit his style of football, and we're going to get the best out of him. Side netting. Better luck next time. Get that out of here. We need to hit him on this counter now, guys. Smith in midfield. Passes to... I need to learn his name. I'm just going to call him Dybala from now on. Dybala. Down to Khan. Khan is trying to find some space for Dybala. Dybala! Woo! Forced a good save. Finds him! Shortest guy in the post! Sorry, just got the back of the net! Here we go! Yes! Come on, boys! 1 0. Woo! Luton were not ready for the little Asian Dybala. Guys, forces that mega save. Finds the shortest guy in the box, can't quite tuck it away, but that's why we've got our target man. And that is why I've lined the team up the way I have. Guys, phenomenal scenes. Oh, they've given it to Surridge. Oh, you can't quite find Asian Dabala. I hope, like, you guys don't mind me calling him that. Like, honestly, I don't know his name. I think it's like Hiroto. No, no I just call him Hiroto from now on. Like, I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce his last name. Let's go. Closing down. Oh, bad defending. Luckily, we are able to shield him out. We got lucky. Santos. Cheeky back heel down to James. James tries to find Surridge, but does well to intercept to win the ball back. Hiroto does well to find Surridge, and we've lost it. We're going to have to make do with the bad gameplay for now, guys, because we're not flashy players. But as long as we get the result, who cares? And we're on the counter again. Here we go. Santos. Finds Hiroto. Hiroto's on the break. That acceleration is deadly. Sorridge needs to hold it up for him. Can he find it? He stopped his run. Ah! Half time. Half time. Not bad whatsoever. We're in the lead, which is the main thing. Any changes that we can make at this stage could help. I want to try Barnes. I don't want to take any of these two off, though. I think a change in formation right now would probably be the smartest thing to do. Maybe into a 4-1-2-1-2 regular. With the wingers, Surridge and Barnes up top. We're not going to take Khan off. 
We're not going to take Santos off. We're going to take Smith off, I think. I think Goburn's probably going to offer more at that holding midfield role. I can't find him because FIFA is so annoying with this formation. There we go. And we'll leave the back four the way it is. They're doing well. Kept a clean sheet so far in the game. Can we get a good result at the end of it? Let's find out. Oh, it's a great play. Barnes finds Santos. Can he work something? He's got the agility. Cuts in. Tries for a finesse, but not quite got it in his locker right now. He's not even 60 rated yet. What are we expecting? Well played, go Burn. He's really taken to that holding midfield. Holding midfield role well. Khan, being one of our star players in this match. Finds Surridge, the other one. Oh, beautiful ball down to Dixon. Can we get some runners in the box? It's a cheeky cross, but too close to the goalie. No one was running in there. No one at all. We've got quite a tall team as well. Five foot one Dabala aside. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, where did that come from? Oh, it's awful defending. Oh no, it's our beast. Our Jamaican beast at the back has let us down in the box. It wasn't even a dangerous cross. Shouldn't be beaten from there. What are we playing at? Barnes to Santos, cuts in, tries to find Barnes, Hiroto, finds Surridge, hold it up, hold it up, don't cut back, it's that first touch guys, you need to work on that first touch, tighten up, ah come on, communicate guys, Hiroto, finds Barnes, can we find Surridge in the box, get to that Surridge, oh he's done well to get anything to that, forcing a save from the goalie, Hiroto's done well to keep it alive, can we find Hiroto down that wing? Can he cut in? Find Surridge on the edge of the area. Santos. Barnes. Barnes. Come on. Barnes in the box. Stating the claim. I should be here. I should be in the club full time. Woo. Great play from the boys. Phenomenal work. Not giving up on it. Surridge does well. Finds Santos. Cheeky little flick between his legs. Finding Barnes who does well to shield the pressure. Finds the back of the net. Well played. Both our strikers getting a goal. Well played. Making up for it. Does a lot better in the air there Smith. Now can we catch him on the counter? Finding Hiroto. Needs some runners right now. Khan. Oscar. Down to James. I see Hiroto's run. He's making a quality run there. Finding Barnes who's shielding the pressure. Lovely. Barnes, he goes alone and Barnes, he finds the back of the net. What is going on? Whoa. We have just uncovered a beast, ladies and gentlemen. Barnes, he, whoo. Showing why he needs to, I need to find him in that starting 11 guys, there's no doubt about it. Come on ref. Really? Are you going to give that? Make a little run. Clear that nicely. No problem whatsoever. Get it out. Get it out. Get, get, get it out. You ain't finessing that from there. Ain't going to trouble Nelson. Let's... Nelson, what have you done? Nelson, what have you done? <gasps> Woo! Let's get that out of here. Oh, we need to stop rushing. We're in a good position here. We can't give this up. Surridge. Back to Barnes. I see the run there. Go on, Santos. State your claim. Wins a corner. That's all right. That's all right. No problem. They're making changes. We don't need to make any changes. We've got some tall players in the box. Who, none of which did anything. Well played, boys. Well played. Oh, no. We've got an injury, guys. And it's Goburn. Not good. Not good at all. Let's bring on Gray. And let's make 
moves. Let's go. Ah! It's a good little flick from Khan there. Dixon. Finding Dixon. Dixon powering forward with no stamina whatsoever. He needs to slow it down. Brings it back to Khan. Khan can whip him in. Can we get the head? Ah, I hope Goburn's injury's not too bad, guys. Really can't afford any more injuries. We've already got one. This will be our second. Nakagawa finds Khan. Dixon's still tired, but he can whip one in before. So, forcing a save from Steck. Hiroto getting it out to Dixon. Dixon cutting back, finding Barnes, finding Hiroto. He can hit them. Woo! That would have topped off a good first performance from our new young man. Could have really used that goal. But we've definitely got the three points, guys. This has been a great first performance from the boys. Can they get a consolation? Smith's not allowing it. Bringing it back out to Shinny. Forcing a save from Nelson. Absolute phenomenal save from Nelson. He's really stepped up since coming into the, sit into the side. Goalie's up. They find Hilton. Another good save from Nelson. Have we find our starting keeper here, guys? I think we have. Keeper still up. They've gone short. Not going to trouble anyone with that. Can we get a goal from this? Oh! I don't think so. I think the ref's going to blow. Hiroto's running. Nah, it's all she wrote. They knew Hiroto was going to run the whole pitch and get that goal. Crowd ain't happy. Crowd are not happy with Luton Town. But one person that is very happy is moi. I am absolutely, like, gassed. That was a phenomenal performance. Need to take a look at this goal one more time because holds off the pressure. Boom! Phenomenal. Absolute phenomenal scenes from opening day. I, I couldn't be happier. Great, great start, guys. So, as it stands, we have got a cup game in the Carabao Cup against Wigan. Now, this is definitely one I won't be simulating. I want to simulate it through league games just throughout the league. Once we're a bit more comfortable in the league, simulate a few of the dead ones. Just get rid of the dead weight because there's a lot of games in the lower league. Nakagawa, Nakagawa did phenomenal. Let's just clear that up. We're going to leave Wigan for next episode, so we have something to look forward to then. Moving over here, we've got all our scout reports back, which is brilliant news. So we can go have a look at those now. I did find some free agents that we possibly could snap up. Oscar Goban is out for three months. Damn. Wow. That's bad. That's not great. Marcus Barnes definitely wants to play, and he definitely is playing, no doubt about it. We need to find it. We need to find a formation, guys. We've got two strikers in the centre attack and mid who all need to start. Mind blown, I know. Seriously, I didn't expect it, but what we need to do now is try and snap up some talent. Now, free agents, what we got? We've got a few. I think this is all of them. Let me just sort it out through. There we go. This is all our free agents, right? Not all of them have been scouted, so the ones that have been scouted, we're going to take a better look at. Now, what are we working with? Uh, we need to look at the weekly wage, and for some reason, none of them have got it. What is life? Uh, all I can say is Aguilar is one that we need to go for. Okay, so they're saying the approach is that we need to make a wage offer between three and four and five and five to convince them to join the club. Ah, right. Okay, so who do we need? 65 overall right back, definitely an option, Bojikov centre back, probably a little bit out of our wage budget, Zhu Yang, Zhu Yang, oh, Yu Yang, oops, yeah, Yu Yang, yeah, mm. goalkeeper, mm. not the best, striker, don't know anything about him, that's cool, not interested then, definitely don't need a striker, I can tell you that much. Right back. They're not great. They're not. They're not great at all. So because I'm completely gobsmacked at how bad the free agents look, I'm going to be trying something different. Now I'm going in blind and trashing my room. Oops. 
basically going in blind, guys, to try and find some talent. Now, I'm going to need you guys to come with me so you can see what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm going to be looking at people that I haven't scouted. Six foot five, centre back, 19 years young. Strength, stamina, composure, all key stats that he possesses. Should we just go in and try and get him? So I'm going to go straight in and shortlist and then carry on. And we're going to go in blind for these players. I'm not going to scout them. So next one, winger, acceleration, sprint speed, balance, agility, strength. Great. Just what we want. Shortlist. We're going to grab him up, hopefully. Probably not. Benny Banagadimium again. Looks decent. He's young. 18 years young. Sc not scout. Shortlist. Let's go. But you're, no, he's got no face. <laughs> Keenan Bennett. Sprint speed. Acceleration. Free kick accuracy. Okay. Contract expiring in 11 months. This is what we want. Shortlist. Let's try it. Regan Booty. He got the booty. Not what we want. Re <laughs> DJ Buffon. Honestly tempted to go for this DJ guy, like just for the name, but we're not. Uh, moving on, Trevor Chalobah. Sprint speed, acceleration, strength, everything you want in a centre back. They're shortlist, we're going to try and get him up. Luke Charman, don't need a striker. Hamza Chowdhury, I already know this guy's out of our price range guys, so I'm going to leave him for now. Tom Davies again, another one we know. Tom Delabashiru. Probably too attacking for the formation we're going to be playing, so we're going to leave him for now. Diallo, he's quick, agile, good shot power. Why not? Contract expiring in 11 months. We'll try and snap him up. Grady Diangana, he's fast apparently, so that's shortlist. He has that special something, that's what we're looking for. Kasper Dolberg, we already know he's out of our price range. Moving on, a right back. Sprint speed, acceleration, agility. That's what we want. Shortlist, come on. Some good ones, guys. I'm honestly, I'm surprised. There we go. Romani Edmonds Green. Probably not interested. We know we're interested in Edwards, but we can't grab him up, unfortunately. I think we can leave it there. I think we've got enough. Tosin Kahindi. He's quick. Shortlist. Right. You get the picture. <laughs> I don't think I need to keep going. So let's take a look at the transfer hub at what we have just got ourselves. These are all the ones that we just got, yeah? Are they all the new ones? Okay, yeah. So we started with this kid. He's tall. He's quick. Let's approach Dubai. Not willing to relocate. She is for proving my point. <laughs> Damn. Recently joined. Recently joined. Recently joined. Unwilling to relocate. Unwilling to relocate. Unwilling to relocate. Come on, man. They're all unwilling. What am I meant to do? Ah! <laughs> oh, guys. The struggle is mad real. Mad real. Right. This is like the toughest career mode I have ever done. Hands down, literally, guys. So, my line of thinking now is I physically can't go out and buy a player. Can't get it. Ain't gonna happen. If I can, they'll be rubbish. So why not try and make my own? The board want me to get someone from my youth system into the starting 11 by the end of the series, or season, should I say. Uh, so why not? Why not invest? Like, let's go for like the most crappiest scouts. One star, one star, 17K. We're not really gonna be losing much. So let's pick him up. Same with this one. Let's just get a couple of them. Like one star, one star. Croatia. Sick. Love that. Higher scout. Have you got another one star, one star? We do. From Switzerland. Boom. Done. Love that. Now, we're going to set him up and send him out. 36k it costs for three months. That's all we need. He's English. Let's send him to England. Make it as simple as we can for them. Like, let's just go. 36 scout. That's and boom. Done. Croatia. Let's get some Croatian talent. Why not? Let's set up a scouting network. Where's Croatia? Here we go. Great geography. Well played. There we go. There's Croatia. Let's make it as simple as possible. I don't know if it helps. Honestly, don't. I have no idea if this helps. Set up a scouting network. Do I really want one from Switzerland? 
no offence my Switzerland people, I don't know. But I tell you what, I always do this, I always send one to Brazil. Because something always good comes out of Brazil. Three months, boom, on your bike, let's go. They're all gone, that's cool. We've got no money. Absolutely zero. So what we need to do now by the end of the transfer window is bring this back. We need to bring it back. We need to get this up to... Let's leave that at 2k, 65k, there we go. We've split the budget, that's all good. We've set up the scouting networks, they're going to come back for us. What we need to do now is maybe offload some dead weight from the team, which we don't have much of. That's like asking me to lose weight, what's the point? I'm just going to end up in hospital. But we're going to have to do it somewhere, maybe sell like one player. Let's take a look before we end up the episode. Boom. That's what we're working with. I think we could probably lose a striker and we can probably lose a centre mid. One of these no face blokes. But yeah, that's what we've got. If you guys have any suggestions, please, please let me know in the comments down below. I need as much advice as I can get right now. This The struggle is mad real. We've played the first game. We got the first win. We know we can do well with this team. That is great. Can we get a cup run in the next episode? You never know. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new around here and all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Have a great day, guys.